once uh, the uh, physical separation occurs between Dragon and the docking port on Harmony, it will uh, begin to move above the station at a very slow rate of about one-tenth of a meter per second, then will move behind the station. A series of departure burns will then uh, put it on a trajectory to carry it uh, below the station and on its way to a safe distance away from the International Space Station for its deorbit burn that will occur at 4.11 p.m. Central Time, 5.11 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday afternoon to begin the final leg of the ride home for Williams, Wilmore, Hagen, Gorbanoff. Two and a half minutes to go until physical separation. All systems reported to be in great shape. The latest weather forecast uh, in the, off the coast of Florida at the splashdown sites indicates pristine weather for the arrival of the Crew 9 crew on Tuesday afternoon. The first gang of hooks uh, has opened, standing by for the second. Springs on both sides of the docking interface will push off against one another to initiate that opening rate for Dragon. Ninety seconds till physical separation, heading into the home stretch for Williams and Wilmore, the beginning of the end for a nine and a half month mission in space. The interface between Dragon and the International Docking Adapter no longer sealed. The International Space Station and Dragon flying from southwest to northeast across the Pacific Ocean at an altitude of 261 statute miles. All hooks open. All hooks are open. And undocking confirmed. Freedom is free of its moorings. Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore begin their belated trip home. Confirmed. Undocking <laughs> occurring right on time at 12.05 a.m. Central Time, 1.05 a.m. Eastern Time. Good motion, good stability on Dragon as it backs away. Freedom, SpaceX on the big loop, depart burn zero nominal. Open rate reported by the visible vehicle officer. Dragon's attitude control system functioning as advertised. Some freedom on the big loop. On behalf of Crew 9, I'd say it was a privilege to call Station Home. To live and work and be a part of a mission and a team that spans the globe working together in cooperation for the benefit of humanity. To our Colleagues and dear friends who remain on the station, Alex and Dave Rattaf, for real, we know the station's in great hands. We're excited to see what you guys are going to accomplish, and we'll be waiting for you. Crew 9's going home. This is station on the big loop. Step 2, ISS thrusters are verified and enabled. To Crew 9, safe journey home. It's been the honor of a lifetime to cross your path up here on the space station. Your service has been very much appreciated, and uh, we'll miss you, but uh, have a great journey home. And this is back. I wish we could, we could spend more time with you guys, but uh, many people who love you and uh, whom you love are waiting for you, so safe travel, Godspeed. And for crew arrival, we ring a bell in Navy tradition, and for crew dine, I did a baritone salute as you undocked. Time. Go ahead, Rob. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, you mentioned uh, that continuous presence on board the International Space Station. We are approaching the point of the approach ellipsoid exit, which will mark the end of integrated operations with the International Space Station and the flight control team here in Houston. Just a reminder, on board, seven crew members representing three nations, Alexei Ovchinin, the station commander, and his Roscosmos colleagues, Ivan Wagner and Kirill Peskov, Anne McLean, Nicole Ayers, and Don Pettit of NASA, and Takoya Onishi of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Ovchinin, Wagner, and Pettit are next up to depart the station on April 19th. They are scheduled uh, to uh, return home uh, to uh, the steppe of Kazakhstan and a parachute-assisted landing on April 19th U.S. time, April 20th in Kazakhstan. Before that happens, another NASA astronaut, Johnny Kim, along with two Roscosmos cosmonauts, will be launching from Baikonur on April 8th as that continuous presence uh, of researchers on board the International Space Station continues unbroken. Sandra? And thank you so much, Rob, for that update. We really appreciate you joining us here uh, as you spent some your evening in Mission Control Houston. Again, we are continuing to get these views following Dragon.